Hello, OT friends. We thought we would make a small introductory video discussing the history and structure of our organization for those of you who are thinking of joining Global Tea Hut or who are new to Global Tea Hut, or maybe you're just in Global Tea Hut and you're a little confused about Tea Sage Hut, Global Tea Hut, and Light Meets Life and what they are, and you're looking for some information so you can share about this project with your friends. Historically, this organization begins with this center that we're sitting in here, which is called Tea Sage Hut. Tea Sage Hut is a center in Miaoli, Taiwan. We host two 10-day courses every month and people from all over the world come to take these 10-day courses to deepen their tea practice. So when they come here, we create an immersive environment where for 10 days you, you learn a lot of lessons, you learn tea brewing methods, you learn meditation because stillness of heart and focus of mind are very important for uh, proper tea brewing and you learn uh, about water and water storage and go to the mountain and gather waters. You learn about fire and how to control charcoal and other kinds of heat for tea. You go to a tea farm and process your own tea so you can learn about this plant and how it's processed into the leaf that we drink. You learn about the different genres of tea and how they're processed and made. And all of this with the hopes that you can not just have a, a cool kind of retreat experience, but develop the tools and skills you need to go home and prepare tea in your daily life and, and also serve tea to your friends and family. So for those who don't have a tea practice, this is a chance for them to initiate that tea practice. And for those that already have a tea practice, it's a chance to deepen it. And these 10 day courses are completely and absolutely free. We operate on a donation basis. There's a donation box here in the center. There's never a time where anyone tells you to go visit it though. You're free to give nothing or a lot. It's entirely up to you. And that means of course that this center Tea Sage Hut, some months the donations are very abundant and other months they're less. And that means that very often the center operates at a deficit. And so we knew very early on we needed to find a foundation, a financial resource to help support this center so that we could keep it free. And the solution to that is the second arm of our organization, which is called Global Tea Hut. So every month we publish a magazine, which is called Global Tea Hut. And this magazine is about 60 to 65 pages most, most months. And uh, it is full of all kinds of tea wisdom and tea information for any tea lover. There's um, translations of mo a lot of modern Chinese authors. And in the future, we hope to be translating more Korean and Japanese authors as well. We translate and annotate classic Chinese tea texts. We've done the Cha Jing, Emperor Song Hui Zhong's Cha Run, and, and four Ming Dynasty tea texts. This issue is a guide to boiling tea. So it has guides for how to prepare tea in certain ways. There are issues about particular kinds of teaware, tea bowls or tea pots. There are articles about the science of tea and the chemistry of tea. This issue actually has some, some of that in it. And there's actually also articles about uh, tea folklore and even tea ethnography, going to tea regions and traveling around and learning about the cultures that surround tea production and have for centuries. Global Tea is very full of tea wisdom and tea information. The one thing that it doesn't have though is advertisements. There's zero advertisements in Global Tea Hut each month. And of course, you can't learn about tea just from reading. So every month Global Tea also comes with tea. Uh, and the first article of each issue is about the tea of the month and what it's called, how it's processed, some brewing tips. You can see here's the production of this month's tea, which is a black tea from Hunan. And um, here's some science about the little molds that grow in black tea called golden flowers. So there's a lot of information in there. All of the teas are produced in an environmentally friendly way, which is chemical free. So we try to support um, healthy, organic, clean, whether certified or not, but clean, good agricultural practices in the teas that we send every month, all 12 months. The subscription is also donation based. So the minimum subscription is $20 and that includes the magazine, tea and a gift and shipping. But you can also choose higher subscriptions if you want to contribute more to this project. And all of the proceeds from the magazine are either reinvested into the magazine to improve it through better printing, better photography, more journalism and travel and uh, finding and discovering new teas or they support this center, Tea Sage Hut, which is allows us to continue those two 10 day courses a month and continue to keep them free. All of the past issues of Global Tea Hut are on our website for free. So even if you can't afford to or you don't want to support this project, you can go to our website and read all the past issues and learn this isn't an exclusive club, it's a gift to tea lovers of the world. 
So when you subscribe for the magazine, you also get access to an app where you can interact with the people around the world in 58 countries and ask questions about tea and make tea sessions and invite friends over for tea. We very much want to foster a community of tea lovers around the world and facilitate tea practice in all of its forms. So Global Tea Hut and Tea Sage Hut both go together. The third arm of our organization is what we call Light Meets Life. Light Meets Life is a bigger version of this center t Sage Hut. It's not yet built, it's now just in the conceptual stage. We hope to begin looking for land soon and purchase it and build it. All of our courses here at t Sage Hut are always full. When we post our schedule, it can sometimes, six months can fill up, even in two weeks, with very large waiting lists. So obviously there's a need for a bigger center. Light Meets Life, we hope, will be able to host up to 30 to 40 guests in any course and have about 10 to 15 volunteer residents that help serve and support these courses. And so it'll be a much bigger version of Tea Sage Hut. And uh, the other beautiful thing about Light Meets Life is that this center, Tea Sage Hut, is an old building that we have renovated into a tea center quite beautifully, but there'll be a, it'll be very different to be able to architect the buildings from the ground up to, to design them to do what we want them to do, which is to be tea spaces. And hopefully for posterity, so that Light Meets Life, once it's built, will last long, be, long beyond my lifetime, your lifetime, into the future generations of tea lovers. And they'll have a free tea center where they can come and learn about tea and tea brewing and tea practice and tea as cultivation and meditation and all of that. So Light Meets Life also has its own fundraiser. Every year we produce a little bit of tea and teaware, which we put on our website and we sell them transparently, which means that either the webpage will say our cost of the tea or you can feel free to email us at any time and we'll tell you our cost of tea or teaware. And then there's a suggested donation, which usually is not very much above that. Typically like an $80, something that costs us $80, we put the suggested donation at hundred. Some people give more, some people give hundred. And all of that money that's raised in the Light Meets Life fundraiser is either reinvested in tea and teaware to continue that growth or it's just put in savings and it's waiting until we build that center. So you could donate to the building of Light Meets Life or you can purchase some tea and teaware on our website and help us to build this future center for you. So these are the kind of four arms of our organization. You have Tea Sage Hut and Global Tea Hut, which is the magazine that supports the free center. And you have Light Meets Life, which is the future center and the fundraiser that supports it. All of this is, is run by volunteers. It's all run for the good of tea lovers around the world. If you don't feel this way, many of you who have been here certainly have this feeling in your heart, but we hope that in the coming years, as more and more of you come here, as more people subscribe to Global Tea Hut, more and more of you get the feeling that, that we're not building our center, we're building your center. If you haven't yet come to our center or if we haven't yet shared tea together in person, I honestly look forward to that day when we can share a hug and a bowl of tea. Until then, I wish you tons of tea, tons of love.